Tonight we're learning how UC San Diego will use a $15 million cryptocurrency donation. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez tells us more about this unique donation and explains how it will be used. This is the biggest crypto donation a university in the United States has ever received. UCSD will use it to create a new institute to research airborne diseases. Last week we told you about research that confirmed that coastal water pollution, like what we often see in Imperial Beach, can transfer to the atmosphere in sea spray. That means people well beyond the coastline might be breathing in bacteria from the sewage contaminating the water. Our goal now is to really understand, um, you know, how frequently it happens, how it, how far it goes. The crypto donation will help researchers answer these questions. I spoke with Professor Kim Prather, who just published a paper proving the sewage in the water is also in the air. We showed that up to three quarters of the bacteria you're inhaling in that air down there comes directly from the, the Tijuana River, and that has never been done anywhere before. She'll help lead the new Institute for Airborne Disease, which will continue research in IB. They hope to learn how people's health is being impacted. The crypto donation came from Vitalak Buterin, the world's youngest crypto billionaire. Because of the pandemic, right, he's been one of the people who has been contributing to try and understand the airborne nature of viruses. The 29-year-old created one of the world's leading blockchain networks. He's a really big deal, Vitalik, like one of the foundational pioneers of the industry. Pat Duffy is an expert in crypto fundraising and co-founded a company that specializes in it. He says thousands of donations are made through crypto. If it's a really big donation in the U.S. in particular, it's often tax motivated and that you don't have to pay capital gains tax in the crypto you donate, same as stocks. UCSD says it used a local service to convert this crypto donation into U.S. dollars right away. After the Imperial Beach research, the university wants to go global. They hope to see how bacteria travels from water to air in other countries around the world. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.